Hey, hey guys! Family. Okay, that was like not the best timing. I tried. It wasn't quite there. Sorry, guys. You did guys. better last week, honey. Hey, everybody! Happy Friday. How's everybody doing today? Oh yeah, we've got S. Will, Evil Llama, Tom's Food Factory. How's everybody doing? Okay, so before we tell you guys what we're making today, let's acknowledge who was first in the house. Which to this week is a little bit of a tricky one. So Evil Llama, our friend Evil Llama, let us know that. Someone was actually before him and their comment got deleted and that someone is going by the name Bob's I think. I'm not sure really who that is but congratulations Bob's and Evil Llama. Yes it's nice to see both of you. Who do we got on Instagram? C Matt Cooks, Backyard Barbecue Paradise, Brad's Backyard Barbecue. Hey C Matt Cooks, Brad's Backyard Barbecue. He said what's up ladies? How are you guys doing today? It's Friday. Everybody's in a good mood. We got Madwood Barbecue over on YouTube. We have Daddy Dutch Barbecue. How are you, Kent? Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, I am super excited about what we're making today, honey. This is a locked and loaded menu. Oh, sorry, I, we can't even talk about the menu first. <laughs> so if you're over on YouTube, make sure you say hi to Barbecue Mama. If you're on Instagram and you wanna see our different camera angles, go over to our YouTube channel and give Barbecue Mama a big hello. And everybody else that's over there. And Judge Webb, he said lunch break at work, TJIF. Guys, let us know who is watching from at work right now. Good question. If people are saying hi to each other, <laughs> Trumpet Master, how's it going? What's going on? He's saying, hey girl. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Okay, so before we let you guys know what we're making, I think it's time for the Kick Friday off dance. The dance. We gotta do the dance. It always feels extra special because it is Friday. I'm happy it's Friday today, honey. Are Me you? Me too. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Okay, are you ready, guys? Yeah, here we Let's go. Let's do this. Friday, Friday. Friday. Yes, yes, it's Friday. Friday. Evil Llama's watching from his minivan. It doesn't get more stylish than that, watching from a minivan. And now we know Evil Llama has a minivan. Yep, so he's got know. lots of room to take us all on barbecue road trips. <laughs> S. Will, as usual, saying watching from his workout. S. Will, you, what are you working today? Is it leg day? <laughs> I think you've told us this before, but I can't remember. Is Friday leg day? Yeah, but does it fluctuate? I don't work out. I don't know. Does it Is Friday always a day, or do you, does it switch like every other day? Let us know, S. Will. What are you working today? Ja um, Jack Lumber Toronto, nice to see you. How are you? We have Fritz Frank tuning in. He's saying, why do you want to know if I'm watching from work? You a cop? <laughs> no, but we're Scoggin. We have an ex-cop in the house, usually. Our, our barbecue brother, Scoggin. Yes, Scott. I think Scoggin's always working Friday, so maybe he's at work today. Who knows? Hopefully he's going to join us because everybody tuning in right now, you have entered a fabulous live show today, okay? We are making... Reuben egg rolls. Oh yeah, these are so easy to make too and just in time for Super Bowl this weekend. I think that's a fantastic choice because everybody loves these things. They're Before we even get started though, who is hosting a Super Bowl party this week? Good because question. A lot of people I think like to host them. I think the true Super Bowl fans, like if your team is playing, I think that that's kind of an experience where you just want to experience the game. You don't want people over, you want to focus on the game. So who's who's hosting this year? Okay, Trumpet Master saying he is. All right, Trumpet Master's hosting. S. Will saying he's working on his forearms today. Good to know. Hello, <laughs> hello S. Will. <laughs> okay, so Trumpet Master saying he's doing wings, sausages, nachos. You cannot go wrong with those things. Absolutely love that lineup. If anybody is hosting or not, you might want to add these to the lineup. Oh, Eva Llama, if you're a Reuben lover, you're going to love them because they're so easy to make. There's like three ingredients to the actual rolls themselves. And then we're going to make a Russian dressing to go with them because everybody knows an egg roll needs a sauce. Cool. Kathy's hosting a Super Bowl poker game. Oh, cool, Kathy. Cool combination. That is going to be so much fun. Okay, knowing Kathy, she's going to be having a locked and loaded menu for that. She always does. She really, really does. Okay, I'm going to get started on, the, actually, no, before I do the sauce, I have to chop your stuff, don't I? Yes, you do. Okay, so I better get Guys, cracking. I'm on rolling duty. Kiki's got a lot to handle today, okay? So she's going to be starting off with the cheese. They're going to have, this is basically everything that goes in a Reuben sandwich is being wrapped up in an egg roll. Who Super good. Yeah, who's not going to love that? Okay, so the first thing I need to do is ch um, chop, not chop, grate us up some cheese. 
I have so I'm using some cheddar today that's not typical in a Reuben tip you might want to go with like a lighter kind of cheese but I thought I feel like in this in an egg roll I wanted the pungency of a cheddar to yes. shine through I don't think you can go wrong with that I think that's a great choice our friend Brian is saying what is the Super Bowl everyone's talking about Okay, so Brian, are you admitting to us that you are not a football fan? Because Brian's acting like he doesn't know one of the biggest games of the year that's happening this Sunday. So maybe we're learning a little something new about Brian. He may or may not be a football fan. Ow, let's not grate my fingers Did you? Here. I almost did. Honey! Yeah, I almost did. Classic. Okay. It's a, if it's not me, it's you. Okay, hey, biscuits and brick briskets. Hey, you guys. Nice to see you guys. Okay, so honey, there is your cheese. Okay, you did that so quickly. Well, I gotta get hustling because I need to make room here for the sauce if I'm gonna do everything. Okay, so I'm gonna get this preheating then. Okay. Actually, no, not yet because guys, we're cooking on the Ninja and this thing preheats super quick. So I'm not gonna do that yet because honey, you're gonna chop up our corned beef from our favorite people, Helena's. Oh yeah, I left it in the package so you guys could see. This is just regular sliced corned beef ready to roll from Helenda's. This is half a pound. I'm trying to remember how much we got because well, that's good to know. I wanted to make a lot of these. We have a lot of egg rolls and we, you want the trick to these is getting the right amount of each filling in each one. Who else here has messed up when it comes to ordering cold cuts? Because for some reason, if you go half a pound, I always like to break it down to grams. And one time I ordered, I think it was corned beef, and I ordered like 400 grams of corned beef, and that is a lot. <laughs> Bev St. Pierre over on Facebook is saying, please drop them off at my house. All right, we're going to have to make an extra special drop off. How are you doing, Bev? What's going on? Okay, also, there is a tiny cat right beside me. I would just like to point it. I think she smells the corned beef. She's got her toy out. She wants to play. Hi, She honey. knows what's smelling good up in here. Okay, so I'm gonna get chopping. This is just regular sliced corned beef. And um, Biscuits and Briskets said someone has got to do all the work and this week it's me. Yep, exactly. Guys, if anyone's seen me <coughs> in the last couple weeks, I've been doing everything. So Kiki this, this week, <coughs> I'm basically me. just rolling egg rolls. Kiki's making a homemade sauce. She's chopping stuff off. So Trumpet Master's saying, don't forget the sauerkraut. That is what is all in yes. these, is we've got the corned beef, some cheese, sauerkraut. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, that's, that's, nice that's nice and um, simple. Okay, so honey, I'm gonna make like a little station here for you, okay? I'm ready to rumble. All right, Let's here we it. go. I just, that cat is eyeballing me, and I'm just, am I allowed to give her this? No, no, don't. Do not give her that. I like to see, it's all fun and games when you're wanting to give human food to someone else's pet. If I tried to give human food to Lupe, you would murder me. I'm the worst one though, guys. I introduced <laughs> food to Lupe recently. Bad idea. She loves her Bad apples. Bad idea. She is like, now she's addicted. I started giving her apples. Oh my goodness. Now, anytime we have apples, she can hear like the crunching or she can smell them. Oh my goodness, she comes from everywhere. And it's never enough. We've given her some a few bites and oh, she's just that little girl is like, for such a small dog, she's got quite the tum-tum on does. her. She does, she does. I think she would love these. So Brian is saying Costco has this frozen ramen bowl that has real chicken and stuff in it. Truly fantastic. Okay, that's that's mind blowing to me. A Ooh. frozen ramen bowl. I would definitely want to try that. Maddie, love, love, Maddie's like the queen of ramen. Guys, who else here is obsessed with ramen? Okay, I have it at least once a week. Sometimes more than that. I'm definitely going to be heading to Costco to try it on Brian's recommendation. Ra ramen is huge now too. I'm not surprised that Costco would get on. <laughs> Brian's like, wait. Is that Kiki? Brian! And that, see, people are noticing that I'm doing everything, okay? That is so rude, Brian. Yeah, good. I'm, good. Not, I'm not pleased with you this week, Brian. <laughs> Trumpet Master saying they love ramen Ooh. with Tabasco. Yes, you gotta have ramen isn't ramen unless it's a little bit spicy. I agree. Even this, we could have, if you guys are a spice fan, you could even add some some heat to this. Like to the I was dressing. Gonna, to the, I was gonna to the dressing, but then I thought, if people wanted that, they could add it on their own, like afterwards. Yeah. Because I didn't, I'm like, you can, you can really overdo the spice, which I've been doing lately. Yeah. I've been going too hard. It's, it's the week leading up to Super Bowl. You gotta get your <laughs> gut ready, okay? You can't just dive in no. all on the big day. <laughs> we have pickles barbecue.
barbecue tuning in. He's saying, hey to barbecue mama, Brian and Tom. Everyone's getting friendly over on YouTube. But guys, you know, every single Friday, we like to talk about what we're grateful for. And more importantly, we like to hear what you guys are grateful for. Because everybody knows, even during the craziest times, and Lord knows we are living in some crazy wild times, especially here in Canada lately, but we all have something to be grateful for. So we want to see in the chat what you're grateful for rolling into this weekend. It's Friday. I'm, that's grateful enough to be the fact that it's Friday. Even though this week doesn't really feel like Friday for us because we have a media tour segment tomorrow morning. So it's kind of like, I'm, I don't get to sleep in. <laughs> that's not the same. That's not a regular Friday vibe. Okay, so let's... Okay, Tiger McCool, PTK, a.k.a. the Pop-Tart King, is saying... I'm grateful grateful for the Super Bowl one hour from me. <gasps> Anthony, does that mean that you're going to the Super Bowl? Oh my goodness, that would be so cool. That would be, okay, I feel like that's bucket list. Yes. That would be totally a bucket list moment, regardless of if your team is in the is in the, the, the big game or not. Trumpet Master, okay, sorry, dad of two Kansas barbecue. Hey, how's it hey, going? Hey, Ryan. Um, Trumpet Master saying, I'm grateful my my family and I are healthy. That is something to be grateful for every single week. That is a that's good one. That's a great one. one. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. That's something that we all need to, right, right off the top, let's all be grateful that we woke up today. Yes. We're all here together today. Yeah, absolutely. So, honey, do you approve of that? Is that good enough for you? It is, actually, Look at I have that. to say, I have to do, I have to say that you did that quickly. It's the perfect consistency. I'm not. I'm not mad at that at okay. all. Okay. Well, I, can't I even tease you about that. You don't technically need to chop this up because since it was already um, thinly sliced. But I think that's better. You don't need biting on that Agreed. and having it all pull out. Yeah. So I think chunked is better. Cubed yeah. up here. Okay. I actually need to wash my hands because I got really um, messy. And then I'm gonna come back and build my sauce. But honey, if you you can get rocking and rolling whenever you want on those. Okay. We have Jen tuning in and she's talking to Brian and I think she was hitting him about the New England Patriots. So, Jen, does that mean that you're a Patriots fan? I'd like to know about that. We have we, we have one Patriots fan in our family, but we're Buffalo we're a Buffalo Bills family. Where are the Bills um, fans at here? Hey, eh, honey. Oh, totally. We definitely are in this house. Someone saying hi to CJ. I guess CJ's in oh, the CJ's house. CJ's in the house. Hi, CJ. Okay, so guys, CJ just entered at a great time because we're about to start rolling our um, egg rolls here, and I'm already seeing. I gotta go nice and light with these, okay? Oh my god, that's yeah. too much. This is way too much. She's overcommitted already. We're gonna already. be making a lot because that is a big pile over there. Yeah, look at everyone can see this now and they're probably thinking, Maddie, what the heck are you doing? And that, because those things are smaller than I remember them to be. Okay, Jen is a Patriots fan. She's saying yes, because obviously she's from Massachusetts. <laughs> and then I think that was Tom's Food Factory saying he's sick of the Patriots cheating their way to the top. Uh oh. That's fighting words, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Kathy's saying these are right up her alley. Kathy, you would love, if you're a Reuben fan, you would really love these because they, they, they taste exactly like that, especially they do. with the sauce. However, though, they have that crunch from the, the exterior, the egg roll wrapper. To me, that's next level. Yep. Okay, guys, what do you think about that? Honey, do you think that's that's fair so far? Yeah, and then just the smallest amount of cheese, though, because I feel like you're overdoing it. Guys, let's let's have you guys weigh in on that. Do you think that's, like, full enough? <laughs> Pickles. Okay, Pickles is saying, I overstuff everything I roll. I know. He's, I'm not alone here. Okay? I always have to think to myself, take some out. Because I try to, I always add too much, and then... Let's see, the first one's always the one... Don't forget to... the water. Yeah. Because otherwise it's not going to stick. I'm gonna go like this. Let's see what what happens here. Oh, those look good. Actually, let's go like this. See, guys, the first one you gotta get your groove going. <laughs> let's see here. Oh yeah. Hi, savory smoker Antonio. What's going on? You came to a good time because we are making Reuben egg rolls with a Thousand Island dressing. Perfect for Super Bowl. Perfect for any time, really. All right, not bad for the Ooh, first one. that looks perfect. But not bad for the first one, I'd say. Did you even wet that? Okay, I need to say hi to everybody on this camera. Every time we do that, Instagram is probably like, what are they doing? But guys, we have a camera that runs along the side of the counter here. We just like saying hello to it when it goes by. 
Okay, CJ's saying you cannot add too much cheese. Yes, because then it blasts open. Honey, that looks perfect. Okay, I'm very, pl guys, I have to say, for my first one, I nailed it, I think. Because Wait, did normally, you put the kraut in there? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, normally, okay. I don't do, I don't nail it right off the off the top, but I'm pretty impressed with that one. I think that's that's exactly the amount that needs to go in there. But that's why you can end up making hundreds of these things before you know it, because that much filling really stretches out. Which is, is that not great for... <laughs> <laughs> guys everyone's being dirty today it's friday that's what happens on a friday guys okay so the boom cam so guys we call it the pan cam everyone on insta who can't see it a lot of people in the chat like to call it the boob cam we don't approve that but i'm not gonna be mad at it it just happens to be right at that level though it's just going across <laughs> just getting a good shot that's perfectly fine with me honey <laughs> Okay, so let us know, guys. We're talking about Gratefuls. It's Friday. We always like to share what's going on in our lives, what's going on with you guys. And in the meantime, I'm going to start to be building our... So Hi, V. How are you? Hi, V. Happy nice Friday. To oh, look, guys. This one didn't... See? And, like, the key is, like, to keep it stretched out, then go like that, and then go like that. It's kind of like the cold rolls. It's the same style of... It's like the burrito fold. Yeah. Sides in first... Then you, buddy, that looks perfect. Okay, I like, absolutely I almost, perfect. Ooh, that one is good, look. Okay, okay it's getting I don't better. know what's happening today. I am nailing those guys. I don't normally nail them that good. Okay, I can admit it. It's improving. <laughs> I didn't know if I should give you that job, honey, but I'm glad I did. Okay, <laughs> wow, thank you. Okay, so honey, what is something that you're grateful for? Kick it off. Okay, wow, if PTK is saying Maddie's, Maddie's cans camp. Okay, why is it just mine? Kiki's are in there too. Hi, Salt Pepper Fire. Nice to see you. What's going on? And guys, a heads up. Our dad and mom are in the chat. Our dad is actually controlling this entire thing. Might not want to call it the Can Cam, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good catchy name though. It is. It is. Yeah, Brian's pointing out the low attention span here. I was just talking about Gratefuls and then got diverted by someone Guys, coming are up. you new to a Friday Live over here? Like, we interrupt ourselves sometimes. Yes, Flirty Murdy's coming back over here here on Instagram. Who said that? Fritz Frank. Let's have Fritz that travel Frank. around again. So did salt, pepper, and fire. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Trumpet oh Master saying, what are you ladies cooking for the Super Bowl? So we are making a variety of different appetizers. Since we're still on our Super Bowl media tour right now, we are rocking and rolling with our sloppy bobs. I don't know if you guys saw those on our page a few days ago. We share the recipe. It's on our website. It's like a sloppy joe, but it's made with bison in a mini cornbread cup. But we're also doing chili because I don't know about you guys, it is not Super Bowl unless you have chili. And more importantly, chili dogs okay yes that's basically why i make chili oh my I goodness i prefer to have it in dog form now what is a coney island dog is that a chili Ooh, that's dog a good question okay so for our american friends please educate us canadians up here okay, i this always one was a little rough this one was no a that looks rough. good in a minute there's a little tail there that I, i'm no, not proud that, of that i one. still think that looks perfect i'm not proud of that one someone please let me know what is a coney dog is it just a coney dog Maybe with cheese on it, but that's what a, that's what a chili cheese dog is. We're getting some chili questions. Do you, did you put beans in the chili, guys? Okay, I know I'm I'm afraid to uh, to say this because this is a que this is a preference that divides the barbecue community. Okay, so I am going to go out on a limb and I say I do add beans. I know people are probably <laughs> like Maddie. No, that's bad. But I do because I just like the texture. Okay? We're, we love, we're a bean family over yes. here. We do love beans. A lot of people think it's just the meat and the sauce. Okay, he agrees. Trumpet Master's letting us know he's all about the beans and the chili. Yep, Virtual I, high five, friend. <laughs> Agreed. I know, but guaranteed some people right now are like, well, I'm gonna oh, leave I think I left cheese out of that one. Maddie. <laughs> that one's not mine. That one's not mine. I need the cheese in there. Flirty Murdy slacking today. <laughs> okay, so Kathy's saying... A Kogel hot dog with a meat sauce. Flint Coney's is with just the meat. Ooh, okay, leave it to Kathy okay. to know the difference. Us Canadians, we needed a lesson. Good to know. I, you always see those kinds of foods in movies and stuff, and I'm always wondering what we're, like, we, I don't I think you can buy stuff like that up here. I don't think so either. That's why we make them ourselves. Okay, see? CJ, all caps, <laughs> no beans in chili. I knew that that's a, that's a really hard one for people, but... I just, I, I I feel like if you like beans, you like them in chili, and we love beans. Exactly. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna share grateful. Now I'm gonna take the spotlight and turn it upon myself. Okay, well, <laughs> well okay. While I start making my sauce here. So, okay, this week, everybody is, it's in winter time in Canada, a lot of people hole up, they like, what's that sound? Oh, it's that, <laughs> it's like, where's that coming from? Okay, a lot of people like to turn on Netflix. I'll just talk to you guys down here. There's no can cam happening right now. <laughs> yeah, see, it's not the can. It's the it's the tooth can. It's right up and personal with Kiki. Hey teeth. guys. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people are into the Netflix thing right now, watching different series. I personally lately have been very grateful for great books. Okay. Where are my readers at? So just this, you're just straight up grateful for books. I'm talking about reading. Because the winter to me is like, I love when you get a good book and you get so excited, it starts to be so good. You're sitting by the wood stove, you're enjoying yourself. So for me personally, this week in particular, I've been doing so much reading and that's just something that I've been very, very grateful for. All right, where are the readers at? Who's all, who's a fan of reading out here? And you're talking books. Yes. You're talking books. Or magazines. I know a lot of people are like No, but into... you're not talking e-reader, which I dip and dabble. Or that. I dip and dabble. If you wanted to, if you, that's the same thing. You're still reading a novel, but on like, like a Kindle. I like an e-reader when you're outside and like it's uncomfortable. Sometimes like you're sitting in the garden and like you just want to like prop your e-reader up. You don't, you just want to sit back and not like touch the pages and stuff. I know some people are really anti e-reader. I personally am. I can't See? handle an e-reader. It hurts my eyes. We stare at our phones all day because of our job. Jen is saying, oh, I missed it. I think Jen said that she is into reading. Amen, Jen. I knew you would be. And Fritz Frank, he's saying he likes audiobooks, which, ooh, audiobooks are, st I still have not been able to like. Ooh, I love audiobooks too. Like, okay, so Fritz Frank, do you like listen when <laughs> you're like driving to work or something? Like, because I feel like that would be cool. Yes, I love audiobooks. Okay, so let me just or get like started. Or like do chores at home. Yes. That's a good time to do chores. And even like um, podcasts. That's totally. That's when a lot of people do their, like, their podcast listening is when you're doing chores. Definitely. Kathy's saying, I don't read like I used to. I used to read all the time. I feel like I go through phases with it, Kathy, too. Sometimes okay, but Kathy's like, newly retired. Kathy, you got plenty of time oh, eventually yeah. to get to it. When you're freshly retired, I think because our parents are, are retired, you want to, like, do a million things. Yes. So, like, I feel like you'll come back to reading. Reading, I feel like you go through stages with it. Definitely. Fritz Frank is saying that he loves the feel of paper. That's like me. I feel like I'm more relaxed when I'm physically holding a book. <laughs> S. Will is saying he reads magazine articles. See, a lot of people get the subscriptions, too, yes. like the ones that come magazines in the mail. Magazines count. Magazines count. Cooking with CJ saying, choose your own adventure books. Oh, wow, those were so <laughs> cool. Those, do they still have those? For those adults. so cool. <laughs> that sounded dirty. Yeah, I didn't I mean that. <laughs> I didn't mean that kind of adventure, guys. That's not what I meant. Oh and with God. that, we're going to add some Worcestershire to we some mayo. We got face in the house. <laughs> well, that took a weird turn, and I didn't mean for it to, guys. Oh, my goodness. I feel like if those don't exist now, we're giving people some good ideas out there. That's a business idea, all right. Uh-oh. Okay, so for a Russian dressing, very, very simple as well. That was a weird transition yeah. back onto the Let's Russian dressing. Let's talk about some dressing. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some mayo. This happens to be vegan mayo because I prepped this and that's all I had, so that's what you guys are eating. All right. You can't and tell though, it's the exact same. Mayo's all oil anyway, so you really cannot tell. <laughs> then we're gonna- CJ caught you on that. <laughs> He's yelling out, Kiki. CJ. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to do this. I'm just gonna stir this up, make sure it's thoroughly combined. Now he's saying Kiki is so my people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, CJ. Okay, so. Um, Kathy is saying she listened to the All Up In My Grills podcast we were on. That was so much fun. That was, that's awesome, Kathy. That was so much fun because... Hey, Mike. A, we're talking about... We were talking about barbecue on there, and we were talking about barbecue with two of our barbecue sisters. I love those which, two. Yeah, those two are awesome. So, guys, we are talking about Bon Appetit and Queen of the Grill, a.k.a. Lauren and Paula. And um, that was so much fun. That was an awesome experience. Yeah, if you haven't heard their podcast, we definitely recommend it because those two talk about real things. Yes, in fact, I actually, I swear to, I swear to, um, to God that this morning, I listened to their latest one and it was extremely interesting. It was all about um, being an influencer and the fakeness that goes on with influencing. Let's just and say I was it. Like, I was like, I want to give a round of applause to those girls to shining a light on something that, 
everyone talks about, but yep. we don't talk about it publicly. So I thought that was so cool. Very interesting listen. I listened to it while I was getting ready. Okay, I got to go back. You told me about it, but now I would like to hear yep. it. Um, also, in the meantime, we were told that Brian is an avid reader. So okay. good to know. <laughs> By Jen or Brian? No, Jen. <laughs> yeah, Brian is always talking about himself, but... Oh, this is an interesting visual. Brian's saying reading is just an excuse to drink cigar... Um, to have a cigar. And I think, was that bourbon too? That's interesting. Very cool. That's an interesting visual. I can picture it, and I'm getting a very classy vibe from Brian right See, now. See, I knew you guys would be interested in reading. I knew this was a reading crowd. I could tell. Last summer, I got into an audio book while I was watering the garden, and it was so cool because it's Ooh. like someone's just feeding you information into your head without you having to phys like hold anything. I yes, loved it. I know. For some reason, when you're doing stuff, holding a book can throw you back. So that's why that's when the audio books come in. Yes. There. Also, hello, Officer Scoggin. Hello, Scoggin. And I think I saw Grandma Val in the chat, which thank you for being here, Grandma Val. She has to get up early to tune into this because she's way on the West Coast. Hi, Val. How are you? Okay, so now to our sauce, we're going to add in a lot of garlic powder. I don't know if you guys are garlic powder fans. I am a huge fan. I like going I love fresh. garlic powder. Some people, I know um, Barbecue Mama does not like garlic powder, but... She's a garlic, she can be a, a, um, a garlic snob sometimes. She <laughs> can, she can. I, she admits it. I'm not going to get in trouble for that. She admits it. Yeah, she hates it, but I like that it's pungent. Also, I love that Hi, Jen is laughing that I called Brian classy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can hear that laugh in my head. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, so we've got the garlic powder in, very pungent. Honey, you can probably smell that from where you're at. I can. It smells luscious. And on that note, I'm going to now shine a light on myself and share a grateful of mine. Do you want me to preheat this for you, though, so I can roll these in? Um, let me just do this last one, okay. and then I will get it in there. All right. She's saying don't touch. Yeah. I'm. In, in other words, please don't touch this. Please don't touch this. Trumpet Master is saying, I pickle my garlic. Ooh. Ooh. Trumpet Master, we're going to have to see that. We're going to have to see that. And what do you serve with that, or do you just pop them? You know what? I feel, I like, feel when like you pickle something, you can just pop it. And that would be good on, like, a charcuterie board. Like, that would be good thinly sliced on toast. Yeah. Like that would be, I feel like that could be good in so many different, yeah. Yes. Barbecue Mama's saying she is a snob. See? Garlic. I'm not getting in trouble for that. Everyone said, don't, don't, don't say I'm getting in trouble for that. I don't know how there could be enough garlic to, ha to be had. I know. I, I go the triple whammy of garlic all the time. Okay, so honey, it says we're having the TV, to our uh, monitor turn off in 18 seconds. I need you to come over here and get oh. that off. Oh no. We don't want that to happen. 18 we, seconds. We won't be able to see anybody. What so do just, I press? Just hit the volume. Just volume. hit the volume. There you go. Okay. Are we good? Yeah, there okay. we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. We uh -oh. almost lost you guys. We, we saved it. We what? almost lost you Kiki guys. Kiki saves the day, everybody. <laughs> okay, so on that note, I'm going to share a great... Oh, we got to flex on that. Sorry, that I was for you, you, CJ. Can, you can flex on that. That was a good that save. That was for you, CJ, right? Okay, okay so what I, what I would like to share is my grateful, which we get made fun of a lot because you guys have seen our latest videos. We're bundled up. We're outside in the Canadian winter. So many people are always saying, oh, you girls, like, I don't know how you guys do that. I'm living in tropical conditions. But what I am grateful for is that we do experience all four seasons here in Canada. So we do experience a winter, a spring, yeah. a summer, a fall. Because the reason why I'm grateful for that, even during this crappy time of the year where it's gray, it's so freezing, it's snowing all the time, it makes spring and summer feel extra special. Honey, yeah. are you with me on that? I am. I feel like it's more difficult to think about that right now because we're in the thick of winter. And but it's... that's what I'm saying. This is going through these kind of crappy times makes it even more special when you get to the spring and summer. Yeah, no, it, I, it, it does. Although I have, I'm going to be honest and... I have wished that we live in a warmer climate. Yeah, at me some too. <laughs> me too, but I'm still grateful that we experience all of it because there's nothing like that first snowfall. You know that you're grateful for that first snowfall. Oh, this lemon has so many has so many seeds in I'm it. I'm not grateful for when it's like the, the 29th snowfall. I know. Here. Kathy's saying, say winter is long. I hear you, Maddie. Okay, I knew Ka See, and Kathy experiences... The rough winters that we do, too, okay? Yeah, but you know what? I'd like to know the people who are in those warmer climates. Do you guys ever get sick of the sun? Like, are you ever like, you know what? This is boring. <laughs> because I don't, I feel like if we had sun all the time, I can't... I can't tell you that I would get sick of that. I feel like I would never get, like, wearing a tank top 24 I'm not saying you get sick of it, but I'm saying I think that you would, like, not appreciate it as much as we do, which in the winter or in the summer, any day you wake up when it's, like... 
when it's like sunny and, and warm out, you appreciate it. Yeah, that's a good one. I could see it. Yeah. Okay, so now that I fished out the 800 seeds in this lemon, I don't know what just happened. I'm adding lemon to this this dressing, and let's hope that we're not going to get any more seeds because I don't want to. Yes, Will. He's like winter. What is that? <laughs> oh, you guys living in the warm climates. Trumpet master saying I'm in central Texas and it sometimes gets too cold, but we don't deal with much winter. To, what is your idea of too cold? Is what well, I'd they, like to know. Yeah, that's I would like to know that, but they do get um Scoggins show that they actually do get snow, which I did not know Oops. that it snows in Texas. I didn't know that either. Tom's Food Factory saying, um, barbecue pops, can you just get the I need to see the the chat? It's right over the top there. There we go. Here, pe Tom's Food Factory says, here people complain about the cold during the winter, and then during the, sum during the summer, they complain about the heat. They're just never <laughs> happy. I feel like, you That's know like what, here Canadians too. do that too. Oh, totally. We do that too. That's definitely like here. Oh, I like Kathy's point. A phenomenal point. Kathy's saying, we won't get wrinkles living where we do. <laughs> That's a very good point because we're not out in the sun 24-7. Good call, Kathy. Okay, but CJ is out in the sun a lot, and CJ doesn't have a wrinkle on him. Okay? Yeah, that's true. He See, does not. T I, I still can't get over when CJ told us his age. He looks very, yeah, I thought he was like our age. CJ, do you, you must moisturize. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need CJ's Oops. morning routine. He's got to moisturize. <laughs> okay, I, I'm trying to, This. I don't know what's with this lemon. It's like, you ever get like the one lemon that's like no seeds at all, and then one, this one literally has 800 That's okay. Seeds You get to just it. more fiber. Okay, so guys, I forgot to bring the spray olive oil here. So what we're going to do is just brush these on with some with some oil here. Those look absolutely perfect. I don't know what got into me. I, I don't, don't know, know why these are so good. Can you guys see those? Those look like store-bought. They, they look exactly uniform. Those are going to be fantastic. That's the exact amount I was picturing for each one, honey. Yeah, me too. Hi, Dwayne. I can't believe that. Hello, Dwayne. Happy Friday. Nice to see you. What's going on? Bev is saying he uses barbecue sauce. I must have missed something. Maybe oh, we're he uses barbecue sauce as his skincare routine. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's the secret. We got a lot of that. We got to start using it on our face, maybe. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. We're making um, Reuben egg rolls today and Thousand Island slash Russian type dressing to go with them. Oh, that is just like t such a winning combo, these things. So Grandma Val saying West Coast cold is 65 degrees. And that's another thing. I don't know Fahrenheit. I never know what that means. Is that cold? That is not, that's not compared to up here. <laughs> it, it's not? No. <laughs> S salt, pepper, and fire saying flirty Murdy's on her game today. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll take, if you're going to call me that, then salt, pepper, and fire, I'll take it because you're saying something real sweet. Okay, okay Scoggin has to leave. So, Scoggin, have a great day today. Good luck on your shift. We hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, Scoggin. Happy Friday. Make sure you stay safe. Kevin's telling us, no, that's not cool. <laughs> no. Not for our standards. It's certainly not. And Dwayne is coming with us with a little history lesson. He's saying Canada adopted the metric system in 1976. Dwayne, how do you know that? I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, so check this out. You're not giving me any credit on the sauce. All I see is a lot of stirring. That's like a four ingredient sauce and you're still going with it. Okay, but I had to make sure it was the right amount of lemon. Do you see how much rolling I'm doing here? And I'm still doing everything. You've got a lot more to go. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some horseradish, some prepared horseradish. I'm addicted to horseradish. Does, I, does everybody like, so I feel like horseradish is one of those love it or hate it kind of things. Okay, Grandma Val saying it's about 20 degrees. I would kill for 20 degrees right now. I, we haven't experienced 20 degrees in ages. Okay, so the, the um, exact recipe for this dressing is going to be on our website later on. Don't worry about writing out the proportions. It is super, super simple to make. The last thing we're going to be adding is good old ketchup, good old-fashioned ketchup. And like Maddie said, if you wanted to give this a little bit of heat, you absolutely could. But this is what's going to give you that classic Thousand Island slash Russian pinkish dressing or um color okay so guys i'm gonna i think that we're good now i'm gonna show this up to insta oh, look yeah. at all those i can't believe i did that that quick i can't believe I, you did either i'm very impressed because i'm not that good at rolling yeah no but honey i'm that gonna looks... add those into our grill now and i'm i'm guessing this isn't gonna take long oh no definitely not Dwayne is saying he loves horseradish i do too i can't get enough of it honey are you a fan 
I love horseradish. I don't, it's one of those addicting flavors to me, like wasabi, it's in the wasabi family. Ooh. I cannot get enough. Um, Carrie is saying, when I lived in the Midwest, I never considered 44 to 50 degree weather cold. But now living in the Gulf Coast, everyone wears jackets, acts cold at 50 <laughs> degrees and under. And they act cold. <laughs> we were just saying it's so weird how now today's Can supposed to be. Look, look, that fit, that all fit in. That Ooh, all fit in. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay I here get we go. Lid down, gotta wash up. Keep That's rolling. Good. You're not done rolling. I'm not done. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna wash up then. I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, you're not done rolling. All right. And now this can have an opportunity for my sauce to um, just mellow out and just hang out here. But um, uh, you really rushed it then. Now that I made fun of look, you, now that's looking I'm fantastic. Done. Yeah, I'm totally done. And now the you know what? The better the, this is gonna get better and better the longer it sits too. So this okay, is gonna. Kathy's get... saying I know what I'm making for my retired winter party. <laughs> Kathy's the queen of parties. I want to go to that party. I'm sick of it. I know. I feel like Kathy does host those incredible parties, those incredible like themed parties. Okay, that would actually be so cool. And then like everyone could maybe wear like shorts and like t-shirts and stuff. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Do you guys hear that? Okay, I don't Hopefully know if you guys, guys can, hear, can that. hear that. I certainly did in real life. That is loud. <laughs> you probably can hear that. Okay, so instead of Maddie and I sharing a little known fact about okay, each other. I gotta wash up okay. and get ready for this. <laughs> instead of us sharing a little known fact about each other this week, we've had barbecue pops put together a little known fact about us that we are we've never seen this. We don't know what it's gonna be. So we're gonna see what it is, just like you guys are about to see what it is. <laughs> I'm nervous. I hope it's not embarrassing. I, okay, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a fact. Anybody over on Insta? If, okay, it's going. Okay, here we go. Did you know a little known facts about MNK? <laughs> What's gonna happen? I'm scared. Okay, that, that is there we are. footage. <laughs> Was that it? No, Barbecue Pops is telling us, stand by everybody. Okay. <laughs> Well, that footage in itself was embarrassing because. <laughs> Can that be it, please? Yeah. Insta, Insta is like, what is happening over here? Because they can't see it. But that was, how long ago was that footage taken? I'm going to say like 10 That was 10 at least years? 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. Okay, wow. Something happened with the eyebrows on me. Yeah, what was I going on know. with those? I don't know, but my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to stand by and wait for those. In the meantime, I would like to share a little known fact about Barbecue Mama. All right. You want to okay. start pointing fingers? Barbecue Mama has nothing to do with this. That's Barbecue Pops is getting at us. Okay, so little known fact about Barbecue Mama, who's always hanging out in the chat on YouTube. Okay, people are wondering about the hair, too. <laughs> Me or you? I don't know. They were both They were both that bad. <laughs> no. Why was I wearing work overalls, too? I don't get... I, what were I we doing? I don't know. I have no clue, but I'm nervous about what's to come. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Barbecue Mama's wise to what's about to happen. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, oh, here oh, no, we here go. we go. Here we Hang go. Hang on. Okay, pause that. Is happening. Oh, we have a little picture-in-picture -picture action here. Oh, wonderful. We don't look happy. Okay, I remember what this is from. I remember what this is from. Okay, so guys, this is... There's like, there's audio happening here, but there... Guys, we actually had to eat... If you guys couldn't make that out, that was actually a scorpion, okay? And we actually had to eat that. That was our old Rogers TV show that we had. I'm going to say, was that 2014? I don't know. That was a long time ago. Okay, that wasn't that embarrassing, thank goodness. No, that used to be our old Rogers show, and um, we had an element of fear factor thrown yeah. into there, <laughs> if you want to just call it that. And did we not take that down? <laughs> yeah. Look at Twisted you didn't. Barbecue is like, yes, I did. No, she didn't. Guys, yes, I did. Okay, mine was, the bite that I took was a little bit smar smaller, but I still ate it. Guys, I want to hear in the chat, after seeing that, what is the weirdest thing that you've ever eaten? Okay, because... We're talking, this crowd here, this is a foodie crowd, this is the barbecue crowd. I'm gonna guess we have some interesting things that people have tried here. And that's not that weird. A lot of people eat um, insects in other countries. And I think that's a fantastic use of resources. Yeah, here it's an untapped use of protein. Oh, we're playing it again, awesome. <laughs> well, let's go back down memory lane here and play this embarrassing footage. <laughs> barbecue mama's like, that, that was absolutely disgusting. But impressive, I'm, I'm still, okay, but Kevin's taking off. He's saying have a great weekend. 
You have a great weekend too, Kevin. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so I'm gonna actually take a little look at the um, what we have going on under the grill here. I hear some oh, things yeah. happen happening. Should I open this? Yeah, so I want, I want to see these. Madwood Barbecue coming at us with some raw deer hearts. Wow, that's next level. Grandma Val saying barbecue gator. Ooh. Okay, what? Oh. How are these done? Oh my goodness, those look so good. Instagram, we'll, we'll show you in a second. Hi, eat with me, XYZ. She's saying snails. She's eating, that's hey, weird. Sure, right? that is, okay, that is cool. Escargo, Guys, otherwise. Insta. Perfect. Insta, check, check that out. Speed thrown in my face. <laughs> how are these? How are these done? I gotta get rolling. My yeah. goodness. Do you want me to help you roll? No, we're, we're I getting got backed it. up here. Judge Wet Barbecue was saying chicken on a stick from a street vendor in Korea. Pretty Ooh. dark, stringy meat for chicken, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very cool. Now, did it come with a special sauce? Because I'm all about the sauces. Yep. If Who that... isn't? Yep. So if it comes, I love things that come on a stick because they always come in. Okay, but can we just marvel in these right Buddy, now? Buddy, those what, look what is absolutely... Happen? Why did those come out so good? I don't know, but they look, they, those literally look absolutely uniform. I can't even handle that I did that. Guys, I, I will say it again. I'm not a rapper, okay? So I'm pretty impressed with that. We're going to let that continue. He is sharing yeah, um, I'll something get back with to Barbecue it. Mama, but Jen is saying, ew, it's fr masala, it's fried pig's blood. I am half Portuguese, Portuguese eat every part of a pig, which is phenomenal, and she's saying, except for her. She's not a fan of that. that it's good to know that though Italians are very similar, that they have that idea of using every single part of an animal, which yes. I think is very, very important. And I think it's like just something that if you're not used to it, Maybe, like, maybe that's why it has, like, a little bit of a gross factor. But yeah. you know what? Don't knock it until you try it. Absolutely. Um, okay, so I'm going to, as I was saying before that clip came in, I'm going to share a little known fact about Barbecue Mama. And as Kiki does that, guys, we want to hear something that's a little known fact about yourself so we can all get to know each other better. Um, S. Will is saying, is it Baloo? Is that how you pronounce that? S. Will, we need to know what that is. I'm very curious about that. Yes. Okay, so yes, share something about yourself. We'd like to get to know you guys a little bit more. Hey, North Texas Barbecue Addicts. He's saying, yo, ladies. Hey, Kenneth. Yo, Kenneth. <laughs> yo, Kenneth. <laughs> okay, so let us know. Well, that had some extra juice yeah, on it. Did. Kiki's it's version Friday. had a little bit of extra juice. It's Friday. Okay, so let us know something that is unusual about yourself. And we're going to share, I'm going to share something that's unusual about Barbecue Mama, who is in the chat right now. All right, we're learning about Barbecue Mama. Hit it, honey. Let's okay, hear so it. little do you guys know, Barb, I think we've mentioned this before, Barbecue Mama um, used to work at Chrysler. I don't know if we've told people that before. I think we have. She used to oh, work wait, at... S. Will sing fertilized embryo egg. Ooh, that's like the controversial one. Yes, it is. Which I don't know why people think that's that controversial. It can be. It can be, but good for you, S. Will, for trying it. Because, again, you can't knock something before you try it. So yeah. I would definitely give that a go. Okay, so back to Barbecue Mama. Yep. Okay, so she used to work at Chrysler. That was her, her day job. She worked there for a number of years. But little did you know, she also is a certified yoga instructor. Oh, good. Um, good tip on Barbecue. That's not embarrassing. You're not no, going to get in trouble for that's that. That's a little known fact because I like hearing. You never guess. Certain people have these skills that you don't know about, then you find out about them and you're like, cool, that person knows how to yes. do that? We have Asado Addict tuning in. He just joined us. Asado Addict, do you do yoga? I'd like to know about that. Maybe. Trump, <laughs> Trump and Master is saying, I'm right-handed, but I text with my left. I cannot text with my right. Interesting. Very interesting. Cool, I don't even get that. That's awesome. That's why we love Little Known Fact, everybody. Yes. Because we like to get to know you. Val is saying she's got to run off to see the grandbabies. All right, thanks for joining us, Val. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye, Grandma Val. So, yeah, that was my little known fact about Barbecue Mama. Okay, that is phenomenal. I want to know some more things about people. Uh, oh, Asano Addict is saying, yes, hot yoga. Ooh, yeah. Uh-oh, it is time for pet paws. You guys know what time it is. Oh, you show yeah. us your pets. Oh, my goodness. And we love to comment on them. We've got Oliver, we've got Bruno, and last but not least, Chloe. Chloe is so, Chloe is so stylish. Ooh, we have more. Okay, there's Fenway <laughs> and Lily. And last but not least in that category, Norm with his oh little bone goodness. there. Oh, my goodness. This is cute overload. Oh, and there's Kakoa. Oh, baby Kakoa. Fuzzy, puffy Kakoa. <laughs> 
And Senna and Maggie. Okay, goodness okay, gracious. Are these these little guys? The only bad thing about pet paws is I literally want to get in there and just crunkle them in the face. So pepper fire saying my boy Bruno. Guys, you got some cute pets. Okay, I yes. love seeing the pets. Okay, Kenneth is saying, dang, I gotta send a pic of my boxer Zeus. Okay, that's a really good name. Yes, please send him to us because we love to see the pets. We love to see the dogs. We don't get much cats. No, we don't. But Fritz Frank is saying, speaking of weird stuff, any of you like blood sausage? I'm not a big fan, but everyone else in my family is. My my mother, ooh, his mother still makes it fresh. That is very cool. Ooh, okay, is that blood sausage? That's more, that, that's like um Scottish, right? I'm, I'm not I think sure. I think blood sausage is, is considered to be part of the Scottish breakfast, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think I've even ever had it, but I would definitely give it a go. A side of addicts saying, what are we making? We've got some Reuben egg rolls coming down over here. I'll show you what they look like. Oh, yeah, those. They're looking Check real good. Check these out. Perfect for Super Bowl. Maddie's done a fantastic job rolling these. Thank you, Key. Thank you. And if you're interested in the recipe, it's going to be up on our website shortly. We've also made a Thousand Island slash, we're saying slash Russian dressing because it's kind They're of like very our similar. And our, it's like our own melange of, of both. Yes. With the flavors that we enjoy, really. <laughs> okay, S. Will saying he, he's with Fritz Frank. He's saying he actually likes, um, or for, no, Fritz Frank said he doesn't like it, but S. Will saying he does like blood sausage. I think a lot of people do. A lot of people do that. And you know what? A lot of different cultures have very similar things where. Like, many coaches like to use up all parts of the animal, so they try to think of different ways to yes. incorporate them into delicious things. Which I think is so awesome. North Texas Barbecue saying, y'all are likely my kid Brayson's favorite channel. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. I don't know if Brayson's there right now, but hello, Brayson. Hope you're having a great Friday so far. Hopefully he catches this on the replay. I'd like to share these with Brayson. I know. I who, think he'd like them. To be honest, I don't know anybody who wouldn't like these. I know. Those okay, are looking so fantastic, honey. Thank you, honey. Now, you shared a little known fact about Barbecue Mama. Mm -hmm. Barbecue Papa shared a little fact about us that we're pretty adventurous when it comes to food. I, yep. I, we love trying new foods. And I, I'm not surprised the Barbecue family does, too. We were having some good, um, some good, interesting food that people have tried in the Barbecue family. But now I'm going to share something about Barbecue Pops. Uh-oh. Okay, little known fact. No, it's not embarrassing. <laughs> It's not embarrassing. Why do we always go to embarrassing? I, I don't know, but the embarrassing ones are fun. <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay, so this one is about barbecue pops. And honey, you will remember this. So I don't know about you guys, but you know, sometimes people grow up thinking their parents are like not cool. They're like embarrassed by them. I actually have always thought barbecue pops was super cool. I don't know why, but barbecue pops, I always like thought when we were talking to our friends about their dads, I was like, I could win a dad contest because my dad is super cool, okay? Case in point, you remember, dad used to drive an old, I think it was probably from the nine, no, 80s maybe, the Do a Dodge Caravan. How could I not remember he that? He used to come home from work and he would pull onto our street and we would be out on the street playing with our friends. We'd see dad, we would run down the street, he'd wait for us and he would allow us to step onto, what is that, the floorboard, that thing? Step on the floorboard and we would hold onto the side and he would go like 10, <laughs> 10, 10 kilometers down the road and we would hang on and we would absolutely think it was like the coolest thing ever. All the neighborhood kids saw it happening and we felt so cool. We I do remember dad that. dad was super cool. That's one of like my best childhood memories. Barbecue Pops was super cool then. He's super cool now. Yes, he is. Jen is saying she's got a pretty cool dad too. That's so nice to hear when people think that their parents are actually yes. cool. Yes. I feel like as you age, you think your parents are cooler. But yes. when you're young, it's like. We go through a weird phase where like when we're younger, we're like, oh my God, dad, like get away from me. And then like <laughs> you eventually come back to them and you eventually think that they're cool. Totally. Good memory, honey. But was that not so fun riding on that thing? Oh, I used yeah. to think that we were so cool. Our hair blowing in the breeze, going down the street. Now, you were running out of fillings, but you've yep. got a lot of kraut left. Do, Do we, we want to go, go straight, straight kraut? up kraut? I could go straight up kraut. There's nothing wrong with a kraut egg roll. <laughs> Leave it to Brian. He's speaking on behalf of his kids, and he's saying, Maddie, I'm pretty sure all my kids think the same thing about me. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that Brian thinks that? <laughs> I would actually think Brian does seem cool. He does seem cool. Brian, how many kids do you have again? 
I feel like Brian's told us, is it two? I thought he said four. Four? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of kids, Brian. So I didn't know three? Am I wrong? Three or four? I didn't think, I thought it was two. Brian, let us know how many kids you have. Ooh, Tom's Food Factory saying, chop up some onion and throw it in the crowd. Ooh, that would be good. You know it would be really good, which I'm super on right now? Where are my kimchi fans at? Oh, yeah. Are you, is, is anybody? Okay, I'm, look, we only have two left. Okay, perfect amount then. All that, right. you could scrounge that. Okay, that's going to be one, and okay. then I'll do a straight up kraut. All right, and then whoever gets the kraut one has to do Guys, the dishes. Guys, I'm like so surprised at this. That this looks is, fantastic. Yeah, I was right, four. That's a lot of kids. S. Will is saying, my kids always tell me to act and dress my <laughs> age. What the heck? S. Will, A, we've seen the way you dress. You are a phenomenal dresser. Don't listen to those kids. And B, what does for your age mean? I, I can't have, stand that comment. I can't stand it either. What okay. does that mean? Trumpet Master saying he's got to go. Thank you for joining us, Trumpet Master. Happy I want to see Friday, those chicken Trumpet wings. Trumpet Master. Happy Super Bowl weekend. Hope you have a great one. He's posting the wings. Yep, I want to see them. But don't you guys agree with that? What the heck is dressing for your age even mean? I know. I don't agree I with don't that. I don't get that. If I want to wear a skirt when I'm 82 years old, I will wear a skirt when I'm 82 years old. And I think you'd rock it, honey. I hope I will. Okay, so I saw Evil Llama said he was a kimchi fan. I think kimchi would be fantastic in here. Anything fermented I think would be fantastic. I'm embarking on a kimchi adventure this weekend. Oh, yeah. I, hey, which your adventure is my adventure because I get to try it. Yep, so if anybody, I'll, I I might post that. I don't know. If you guys want to see how to make kimchi, I can show you. It's very, It's a very simple process. If you're into fermenting, fermentation you would really really enjoy it and spicy things oh good heavens I'd love to see it I'm so addicted okay evil llama is saying he has was that four sets of twins or two sets of twins goodness I missed it gracious my goodness and Kathy's saying her kids have the coolest stepdad aka her hubby that is Kathy you are so sweet oh my goodness and evil llama saying vegan kimchi is awesome Eva Mama, you're so cute. Yep, honey, I can't wait to try it. It is so awesome, and it's very simple to make kimchi vegan as well. Even though it's not traditionally vegan, but it is very simple. Look, this is, okay, let's just try and, this one is going to be. You're making it too big. No, it's the last one. It's going to be too, it is too big, but let's just see what happens here, okay? Mikey, sang, Mikey Singer is saying he will also rock a skirt at 82. Mikey, <laughs> you know what? Our friend Mikey could rock a skirt at 82. Okay, so if I honey's... remember, Mikey's got some legs on him. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna look good at any age. <laughs> All right, so you're down to the last one, honey. We are gonna look, get these in. Look, I made that one happen. I still think you went a little overboard, but that's no, just me. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to waste everything. Okay, so we are gonna get this next round in. Like I mentioned, guys, we're gonna have this recipe available on our website if you want to recreate these for Super Bowl or beyond. Are you going to put them in? Oh, in? my goodness. Did you see what um, Evil Llama saying? No. He has two sets of twins, two boys, and two girls. Wow. That is, again, that's a lot of kids, guys. Four, that's... <laughs> Tom's Food Factory saying Charlie is already fermented. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get these in. And um, I can't believe that we didn't waste hardly anything here for I, this. Literally. Can I just take credit for that amount of filling? Yeah, because honey, you absolutely nailed it. That was all me. Slash Helenda's nailed it because they gave us the perfect amount of corned beef. Yep. These can really feed a crowd, too. Yeah, like these are perfect for Super Bowl. You could just keep cranking these out over and over again because they're so fast, too, in this little thing. Honey, can you hit the lid yep. down? I got to wash up, and I would like to try one of those because they're still warm. Okay, I'm going to re-stir up my sauce for you then, make sure it's nice and incorporated. Oh goodness, this smells incredible. This sauce, I feel like would be good on anything. You can adjust the consistency. I've made this one a little bit runny because I feel like that's gonna be a little bit, like I don't like a sauce that's too thick, eh honey? Like if it's no, like, I don't want a peanut perfect. butter consistency type sauce. No, cause then you're like burying it in there and it gets stuck, it gets broken. Okay, do you want me to dip one for you? Dip one for okay. me, let's go in. Guys, we say it every single week, I'm sorry that, um, we can't share with you guys, but these are simple. These are so simple. I feel like everyone has these ingredients um, at their local grocery store. Okay, honey. <laughs> it was coming in. You were talking for too long. And you guys can easily make, recreate these at home. I'm going in. I'm going in. Yep. Oh, yeah. How is that not going to be good? That's a Reuben and an egg roll. What about that sauce? Tangy. Was that tangy? Lemony. It needs some... <laughs> Are you not getting this? 
I didn't get tangy from what you just said. I think it needs something spicy. Uh? Something here, no. <laughs> it needs like a dab of sriracha. It, it, it's optional. If you want that, you can add it, but not everything has to be spicy, Mandy. Okay? I think otherwise. Look at the inside of that thing. Absolutely phenomenal. So show that up to people. Perfect See amount of cheese. Inside. Check that out, guys. That's You just want a bite of each ingredient in a bite there. The cheese is melty. <coughs> that is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take Eva credit Lama's for this like, one. It's twangy. That sounded like twangy. Sorry, I meant twangy. <laughs> Barbecue Mama specifically saying, don't forget to bring me some over. Mom, we will send you, we're coming over later. And we specifically got containers to bring the dip to. Yeah. Because you can't have these without the dip. Okay, so guys, I'm going to finish this up. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. As usual, the hour went by like that. I don't know where the time goes I with you guys. I literally don't. I feel like I wish we could spend all week together because then the whole week would go by so perfectly and fun. Yeah, seriously. So we hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. If you're celebrating Super Bowl, spending time with your family, we hope you have a great one, guys. Bye, everybody. Happy Friday. Bye, guys. Daddy Longo. Bye, Instagram. Bye, Instagram. Have a good one. Hey, these are phenomenal. They never thought they would. Have a good one. Oh, my God, our old intro. When it comes to food, so good? everyone has something that they just won't try. So we forage in the most unusual places to get the most unusual food. And then we cook an amazing dish for someone brave enough to try it. But there's a catch. What? If they try what we bring, we have to try what they bring. We are so screwed. We sure are. Three, two, one, cheers. <gasps> what is that?